So just based off of general consensus, training has been intense going two days most yeah. days. At what point do you think you're going to scale things back? Today. Uh, we, uh, we just have one this morning and then the guys are going to go to the gym and just get some light physical work just to loosen up. But that's it. We have a, a match tomorrow night. So uh, we're starting to pull it back a little bit. You brought down 36 players here. How do you manage the relationships and the chemistries between your projected lineup for the first team and the USL team? Yeah, we, we've divided the groups up already, um, more or less. So uh, Jay has his group um, working on the other side. We have our group working on a little bit more tactical stuff on the field here. So by and large, we divided up today the, the USL group who hasn't been around the whole time, did a little extra fitness today. So we didn't want to put everybody in that. So. Today was a little challenging in terms of numbers, but we accomplished what we needed to. But uh, by and large, it's starting to sort of pan out who's going to be where. How important is it for development and timing in players like Jay Chapman and Chris Manella? Uh, it's great. I mean, for them to train within the first team environment, but also just to get matches week in and week out is huge. One of the biggest challenges in this league has been young players getting consistent minutes, getting 90 minutes in a professional environment week in and week out. And this is that opportunity and so when they do get their chance at the first team level then they'll be sharp they'll have already had some matches under their belt and be ready to step in so it's uh, it's it's one of the biggest things that we as a club have done this this offseason was add that program just watching here towards the end in the scrimmage you were really encouraging Mark Bloom to get up in the play is that something that you're going to be preaching this year especially the back line getting into the play all hands on deck yeah, it's our outside backs need to get forward when they have the opportunity. Obviously, we have what we think is going to be a pretty strong midfield and pretty competent with the ball. So that should allow us to get some numbers into the attack from the wide wide areas. And as they get forward, then they draw attention width wise, which will open up some space for the inside guys to combine. So um, that's the idea. Uh, we'll see as we get more and more comfortable as we move forward with our tactical play, then, then they'll get more comfortable with uh, how high they take their lines. Starting 11 in the scrimmage today, is that the lineup you expect to play tomorrow, like at least the beginning of the game against Oklahoma City, or are you looking at maybe playing some more USL players because of the competition? No, it's it's much. It, it'll be very similar to that. It's much less about the competition and more about the rhythm of games. Uh, we have four or five games while we're here, uh, so it's more about the timing of things. But everybody will play tomorrow. Tomorrow isn't the most important game of this this trip, so. Uh, everybody will play the game tomorrow, then we turn around and we play again on Saturday. Um, and then we play again on, I think, Wednesday against uh, New York, and then we play again on the weekend. So it's not everybody's going to play every game. It's going to be, again, more about the rhythm of games as we build into the first game of the season. So everybody's going to get plenty of time while they're here.